Hi everyone, today I'm going to be trying these grubs. Um, these are river patterns and, um, and as you can see they look like a markets and but really effective on river and you can tie them in any color like this one is white and then you got orangey one this one I used uh, natural skin and then you got vibrant pink all of them are deadly really effective in river so today I'm going to tie the pink one so I'll explain all the material as I go along this is a size 12 straight eye grub hawk and I'm going to put a single layer of lead, wire, lead foil on, on the hook. Now just put it right in the middle. So we need kind of bulky in the middle. Now that's enough. Thread again I'm using. This is a white 860 and just start below the eye cover all this material and then come back towards the eye the second thread I'm using this is a clear thread which is like a monofilament and basically this is a uh, it's two pound strength I would say and just catch this uh, all the way to the bend and then come back now it's very simple to tie actually you need a little practice with the body material so the body material I'm using this is a vibrant pink uh, nymph skin I mean you can use any latex <coughs> latex product but um, I quite like this one and uh, I'm gonna do is basically as you can see just cut this just angle so I can have a catching point and I'm gonna cut this I'll just show you I can't get my hand around just about here diagonally so we can have a thin head you have to have a little rough guess as you can see now you don't have to do that but I just think it looks better and then you catch it give a little stretch all the way with the thread finish and then bring it back up all the way And I'm going to add some wax on the head here. And just simply bring it around. Just to stretch a little, not too much. We need a nice and juicy body. So each turn you do, make sure you cover half turn on the previous one. And keep coming up. I've been fishing, I've been tying these for a very long time now, but I thought I should upload one. And now here, just take your time and then catch it. Keep the tension. Once you're happy, scale, let it go. One turn in the front and secure this now take this extra piece and nice head and a bit finish with this thread now this one is perfectly done now but I like to do a nice segmentation on the body. So bring this clear thread from each segment. Now take your time here because this is a little bit tricky. But after a couple of 
time you practice a few times and then you'll find it a lot easier it's just to give a natural natural look you know of the grub I mean you can basically catch or oh, grayling loves this fly and you also catch uh, I mean I caught some brown trout and some other species as well and once you bring it through to each segment and here you have to give a good way finish with the touching turn so this is it basically it's all done now what I normally do before I go fishing a day before I just varnish them I do not varnish them you know and put them in a box because sometime latex is uh, quite good but you know after a long time if they're lying in your box they go a bit funny so if you cover this with the varnish now oh, it will look beautiful once the, all the varnish dries off so so after the varnish is dried now um you can see it looks very good now and uh, and there you have a pink grayling grub really effective pattern and i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching